Hello everyone and welcome back. This is part three of my Art Collectors Yarn Club and if you remember in my previous video I talked about how because I moved and I don't have a dye studio set up I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to continue doing clubs for this year but I decided to go for it. I have already dyed the samples before we did move, so really the issue would be when I put the yarn club up on the website when people make orders. The issue was would I be able to dye and fulfill those orders? So I'm happy to say that I will. My I do have a setup. Um, it's not perfect. It's not the way that I would like it to be, but it's functional for now. The inspiration for this yarn club and the previous yarn clubs is artwork and artists that I admire. And this club is no different. The inspiration for these colors is from a group of artists called the Group of Seven. And they're Canadian artists and they were famous for starting, I believe, one of the first art movements in Canada. And their focus was on landscape, really to capture the beauty of the landscape. Their focus was on the natural beauty and colors that was what they wanted to be inspired by and their paintings are so amazing and because my colors are very nature inspired i just find their work so beautiful and the themes that they use there's just an endless supply of color inspiration that can fuel my imagination and help me to come up with colorways in the future. So I really enjoyed working on this set of colors. I did four in total and um, yeah I'm just going to stop talking and let you enjoy as I um, do the initial samples of these colors.
I like to use different techniques to achieve the colors that that I want when I'm dyeing the yarn. And there's so many different styles of dyeing that can give you different effects. Um, but for this group of or for this for this for this yarn club, I wanted to keep things very simple because it is nature inspired. So first of all, I wanted to use very natural looking colors that you would see in nature. And of course, I used the paintings. I picked some paintings from the group of seven that I used to develop my color palettes for these colors. But again, I wanted the colors to blend together as well. So I wanted uh, I wanted um, those who bought these colors, they would have the choice to, you know, of course, each color is beautiful and can stand on its own. But if they wanted to, um, I thought it would be really cool if the colors would also blend and melt together and just um, transition easily if they chose to use all four colors in a project. So again, to keep things simple and to make it easy to blend these colors together, I went with the speckle technique. I actually, even though I use speckles a lot in my work, I usually combine it with other methods, but very rarely do I just straight up use speckles or just use the dry powder and sprinkle it over the yarn with no other uh, techniques like liquid, like pouring liquid dye in areas or twisting the yarn. Usually I will do things like that to go along with the speckles, but I kept things very easy and just used that one technique, just sprinkling the dry dye powder. And I really liked the effects that I got. It was a lot easier for me. I didn't really have to think too much because it's just so easy just to sprinkle the color on and um, just adapt as I go to uh, make sure that the colors came out in a pleasing manner. And they did. I really love how they turned out. And um, I think speckling was a good choice for this yarn. This yarn club is now available on my website and pre-orders will be open until close to the end of October. So there's plenty of time to check out these colors and the different bases that are available to dye them on. Are there any artists or artwork that inspire you? I would really love to know. Please um, list them in the comments. I'm always looking for new inspiration and I'm always looking for new to me artists. Who knows, some of your recommendations may turn up in future yarn clubs. I wanted to thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for commenting, for supporting my channel, 
for sharing my videos, for liking, and for subscribing. Until next time, bye.